Hi, it's Becky. I learned how to resolve this challenge around reviewing quiz questions from Articulate staff member Mike Enders. The question was posed by a community member. Since I found this useful, I thought I'd share it with you. First, let me move through this quiz pretty quickly so that we can get to the problem. So remember, the content of the quiz and the questions is not that important. It's the problem that we want to take a look at. And here's the problem. I'm going to click on the Review Quiz button. And after I've looked at my first question and I click Next, my expectation is that I'm going to go to the next quiz question. But instead, I end up at the next slide. And when we look at the menu, we can see why. This course has a lot of questions, but they're interspersed among the content. And of course, there could be a lot more content slides here. This course has been abbreviated for the sake of the video. So by default, Storyline interprets next as meaning next slide. But in this situation, we want to go to the next question slide. Here's how to do that. First, we need to create a true-false variable. And you do that here at the Manage Project Variables button and box. And I've created mine already. I called it Jump to Question. You can call yours whatever you'd like. Notice that its default is false. And the other variables that are here were placed here by Storyline because there's a results slide in this course. So that's been done, and that's the first step. Now we need to turn the variable on. And that is going to be done. We need to tell Storyline when to do it, and Storyline needs to do it at the results slide when the learners click the Review Quiz button. So I'll add a trigger here that will adjust that variable. Remember, that just means that we want to turn it on. So we want it to become true, have a value of true, when the user clicks the Review Quiz button. And another important thing, we want to scoot that up one here so that it ends up, let me slide this down a little, so that the trigger ends up above the review results trigger. So that was step two, two was changing the variable. And the third step is telling Storyline when to use the variable. And we want to do that on the quiz slides. So I'll click on my first quiz slide and I'll create the new trigger, which is to jump to slide and the slide that I want to jump to is the next quiz question. That's this next pick one question for me. And I want that to happen when the user clicks the next button. Uh-oh, there's no next button here. And that's because this is a quiz question. And by default, quiz questions don't have next buttons. Time for another workaround. The way to work around that is to come down here to the slide properties and to add the next button onto the slide, onto the quiz slide, so we can add that trigger. So let's try that again. We want to jump to the slide, the next quiz slide, when the user clicks the next button, but only on condition, so only if that jump to question variable equals a value of true. There. Wait a minute, there's a problem. I don't want my quiz slide to have a next button on it. So I'm going to go back down to the slide properties and remove the next button. And the good news, as an Articulate community member pointed out to me, is the trigger stays there. So let's see if this is going to work properly. Again, I'm going to move through the course very quickly because we just want to see if that troubleshooting technique actually worked. So I'll get to that next question, submit it, move past the summary slide. Now I'm on the review quiz, uh, the results slide, and I'm going to click the review quiz button. I'm on my first question. Let's see what happens when I click next. Excellent. I ended up at the next quiz question. Remember, this will work no matter how many content slides you have in between the question slides. And one other thing to remember is that you need to make this adjustment for all of the question slides so that you can add the trigger that I've added here. Good luck. Hope it all works out for you.